here we are in Bishop's Court Garden on Sunday, September the 2nd, after a service of welcome at the cathedral for me, attended by hundreds of people and also put out on Facebook Live, which can be picked up online if you're able to do that. Um, it's slightly weird to be welcomed to a diocese I've been part of for 22 years, but also lovely to see so many familiar faces and to have that sense that God has something in store for us together uh, as we look to the future. Uh, as we roll out um, our vision called together. Now in my uh, sermon today, I spent quite a lot of time talking about the battle for the human soul, which is currently going on. We think from reading the gospels, the risk is that actually we overreach and try to gobble up the world and lose our soul in the process. But I actually feel that the world is trying to steal our souls and modify them for its own purpose. And that purpose is quite pernicious. It's all about delivering perfection on every front in life. So the intention is you've got to be fit and slim and beautiful and gregarious. You've got to have lots of friends, all the right designer labels, got to have lots of um, social media friends, likes, reposts, retweets and so on. And to deliver this crafted image of ourselves, which is supposedly perfect, but which we know is not. Now, some people just have fun looking at that kind of question, but I think it's eating away at our souls together. And when you look at the recent uh, Children's Society statistic that more than one in five teenage girls has self-harmed inside the last year, those are catastrophic statistics. Uh, and they highlighted the questions around body image and social media profile. We have got to get to grips with this question. And in the Gospel we have this extraordinary gift from God in Jesus to say, you are not perfect, you cannot be perfect, you cannot be as perfect as God. But Jesus himself, the image of God, was utter perfection in his life and in his sacrifice on the cross and his resurrection for us. He has given to us a perfection like a mantle, like a coat that we can wear to be accepted by God. So we need do nothing uh, to earn our acceptance with the Lord. Um, we are made perfect in Christ. And actually, we need to engage with this battle that's going on today about the welfare of the human soul, uh, because I don't think we've woken up to it as a church. I don't think we're anywhere near woken up to it as a society. Uh, and we need to go to war, if I can put it that way, over this question, uh, because we have good news to share and encouragements to offer to young people, uh, old people, uh, middle-aged people, every capacity of life. Um, uh, and particularly to say to those who haven't succeeded in life that actually it's okay that in Christ we find our perfection.